Welcome! My name is Marcin Lewandowski and in this episode of the Viewfinder I will talk a little bit about enjoying shooting with whatever camera you might already have and looking past the hardware. Our working title for this episode was along the lines of poor camera challenge but the more I thought about it, the less it made sense in context that I will try to say. The main point I want to make about this topic will be partially illustrated by the examples I will create with my little no pro camera, which actually broke down being no pro and I had to use my mobile phone instead. In fairness, even the simplest cameras of today surpass anything from not that long ago. Just to give you a little bit of perspective. After switching to digital around 12 years ago, my first DSLR was a 6 megapixel Nikon D70S and I had no problems delivering good quality photographs even when shooting assignments. So where am I going with all of this you might ask? Well, even though you need a camera as a tool to capture images, there are much more important considerations as whatever camera you have on you should do the job just fine, especially if photography is just your hobby or something you do sporadically. In a mini-series of videos I will look at the basics that help to create interesting photographs starting with one of the most important techniques, composition. It's a key element to building an interesting photograph. The camera allows us to choose a fraction of what we see and keep it cropping out all the visual distractions, filtering out all the unwanted elements. It's like putting a frame around something we like. A very good exercise in structure is to get into a habit of framing images with a rectangle created by our fingers. This allows us to see photographically whenever we spot something interesting and practice without having a camera around. I always do this when something catches my eye. This way I can add it to my visual vocabulary. Many of these images will stay imprinted in my head and next time I grab my camera I have more reference points for framing. Two very important devices to remember about when learning about composition are the rule of thirds and the golden ratio. Naturally both of them expand beyond framing and they exist to be broken but they certainly help to create balanced photographs that are easier to read. Basically, the rule of thirds is cutting our frame into nine equal pieces with two vertical and two horizontal lines, just like the grid in most camera's viewfinders. If we want to focus the viewer's attention or anything within our frame, we theoretically need to place it on one of the dividing lines or one of their intersections. A very similar rule applies when using simplification of the golden ratio in a form of a phi grid which also splits our image into 9 pieces but in a slightly different way. I'm sure that you've already heard about it. But one thing I might suggest you is to try to reframe and recrop images that you already have. In Lightroom's develop panel Go to the crop tool, keyboard shortcut R, and have a look at your photograph with the grid of aforementioned rules. By pressing O, you can cycle through different views. You can also change the Fibonacci grid direction when in the golden ratio mode by pressing Shift O. I hope you found this episode interesting, and if you would like me to talk more about composition, be it basic or more advanced techniques, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out Adorama Learning Center for some more tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Adorama TV. See you next time.